Still working on a catchphrase. Rags versus here and KI. My catchphrase is being cute. So we're going to start off today's adventure and taste with uh, the new summer Mountain Dew USA. It has the combined flavors of, you go ahead and say it, KI. Uh, the Code Red, Whiteout, and Voltage. All in the can. America. Oh my god. It literally tastes just like pure, uh, delicious sugar. Something I definitely would probably play video games to. Kind of reminiscent of game fuel and sugar content. Actually, I think it... it it somehow has less sugar than a Mountain of Dew normally does. It's still delicious. Only 27 grams of sugar. 27 per can. That's a lot of sugar. Are you sure that's one can? Yeah, it says serving size one can. Okay. Nutrition facts. <laughs> I'm going to set that aside and drink it uh, slowly. I think we're going to start uh, left to right today, and we're going to start with... Those. Um, <laughs> so ratos. Uh, Auto badas. Sabadi sabadai. Oh, oh gosh. Definitely a lot of flavor packing in this bag right here. All right. Kaching. I'm pretty sure this is just Lay's because. It tastes like Lay's. What do you think? Something doesn't taste right about them. It can taste a lot of tomato. What I've come to understand is that's a, a way of preparing meat. Is that particular for like stewing? I huh. think that's what I read. Next to our left is some corn nuggets. Seasoned with Cajun habanero lime sauce seasoning. Seasoning. All right. Yeah. Corn nuts. My breath's going to taste really weird later. Okay, that's spicy. Spicier than I was expecting. Am I just unlucky or oh wait here's one. Heavily seasoned. It's not too bad. One other? No. See I'm gonna sneak back over to this side real quick. Bitsy brain food. Smart cookies. Zucchini, gingerbread carrot. Now an alphabet. Don't forget organic. Why it smells do you like smell everything. Cause I like the smell of things sometimes. They're little letters. It smells like Pretty good. Some of the best gingerbread cookies I've had. Frungy. They're so good. I give them an A. Where did you guys even find Hello Kitty strawberry marshmallows? Food Max! Maximize your shopping power! Food Max! Oh my gosh. Alright. There used to be a uh, store in the mall that sold like weird Hello Kitty stuff. I only ever got banana flavored stuff. I didn't really delve into the Hello there Kitty There was stuff. also mango, but K.I. said he wanted strawberry. It seemed safer. Hmm. 
And please do not mind the frogs outside again. They're just very loud. This one, oh my god. There's like jelly in the center of it. Yeah, just full of jelly. It's so good. Probably the best marshmallow thing we've had. These would taste really good in a s'more. Next time. Let's dive into the other weird candies. Some fennel candy candy. I'm gonna hate this. The delicious taste of fennel in the form of candy. But what if you love them? Then he just lied to the internet. <gasps> How dare! Do you think someone would do that? Just go on the internet and tell lies? <laughs> They're gonna make a mess everywhere, I can already tell. All I hear is crunching. So it reminds me of It's It's, the, the licorice, the licorice candy. Except for super crunchy. It tastes exactly like licorice, but that's pretty much what fennel is used for, black licorice, so I was kind of expecting that when you guys showed me it. But overall, a lot better than black licorice for me. I don't I don't like black licorice. Do America. Do the do. Instead of going straight into some sugar, let's try these. Japanese peanuts. Nope. Mix some Japanese. That's left to our uh, imagination. Oh, they gave me a little sticker for resealing it so it stays fresh. How considerate. Really crunchy peanuts. Not bad, though. I was really afraid, though, uh, <laughs> it was something we had to crack with, like, a nutcracker for a minute there. That could have been disastrous. Alright, so if we're starting to get into some weird things, uh, where do you want to go? You want to go with these? I've never tried them. Yeah. I'm to say it. Some mini stroop waffles. Honey. Honey flavored. Soft toasted waffles with some honey and other stuff I didn't read. I can really feel that Mountain Dew in my uh, gut. Do the do. <laughs> Better save some for me. Like little waffle, wa waffle things. Hmm. They taste pretty good. I am not sure if I'm disappointed that they're not crunchy or excited that they're like a nice, fluffy, soft bite. Some mellow mood relaxation drink. I've got a uh, peach raspberry black tea. That way we don't stay up all night from all that Mountain Dew we just drank. Or maybe we'll stay up all night because the combination is a horrible idea. We'll find out from our stomachs later. We'll get back to you. Chank. Perhaps in a future comment. I wonder if I was supposed to shake this well. Probably. Tea may settle. Shake gently. Oops. It's like drinking in Arizona when uh, you haven't shaken it. It's just like... Peach isn't that bad. Did you want to try peach? I like it. 
mixed berry. Sure. Trade. That one's definitely the better one. This one is uh, tart. That doesn't mean either of them is very good, though. All right. Oh, yes. Go ahead. I'm trying to not grab them, to be honest. This is... Maple, maple bacon. bacon. Pop-Tart, why? Because... Soda was weird enough. Because we're Americans and we love bacon. Just want to share one. Just open it. Yeah, yeah. I can smell the maple just from the box that is not enough. That there. Now, does it smell like real bacon or does it smell like that gross, fake, artificial bacon? I just smell maple. Yeah, I smell maple and I smell a little bit. Of bacon. You both look very disappointed. I bet it would taste pretty good heated up. Uh, congratulations, Pop Tart. You managed to get a breakfast and a pastry. Next time, uh, more bacon. Yeah. Maybe bacon bits? More bacon bits next time. Go for broke. Just do the whole breakfast in one. Orange juice, eggs, ham, grapefruit, all in one Pop-Tart. Pop-Tarts. Because this is weird. But uh, I'm imagining I'll continue to discover that you keep topping yourself as this goes on. Thank you for giving me a future video idea where I make you the most horrible breakfast Pop-Tart ever. Like this video to see it. So I have no idea what barritas are, but they're uh, piña flavored, so that'll be pretty good, right? I'm terrified now. I, I, gave, I gave the voice ideas. Oh, there's two in one, so let's just share. Don't give the voice ideas. Put in the comments some ideas for the voice. Oh, it's there now. Here. I'm not... This is... Not... Satisfying looking. Okay, it's better than I thought it was, but it's still disgusting. Yeah. Like, each bite, it's like you're taking the bite out of a cookie, but instead of it being a cookie, it's lightly toasted flour that just fills your mouth as soon as you bite it, so it's just everywhere and quite literally horrid. I mean, I bet if you froze them or put them in an oven for a little bit, maybe, but not as is. Let's see. Say it loud! Some super cheesy Italian Pringles. Pringles. With that bold flavor. And that the crunch. Not sponsored by Pringles. Not sponsored by Pringles. Yet. Yeah. We're looking at you, Pringles. You and your... Handsome, smiling face man, dude. This is way more cheesy than I thought it would be. Well, it did say super cheesy. Like, look at that. Like, the powder is just, like, coated on, like, one side of it. It's, it's thick. It reminds me of mac and cheese in a chip form, but actually, like, pulled off well. I almost can't taste the chip part of it when I bite into it. It just tastes like I'm eating, like, a an actual quesadilla. 
minus the warm gooiness of cheese. Apparently, K.I. has um, claimed mm. that Pringles. I guess it's your the Bimbuelas. Funny story, I went into the gas station to get something because we needed just a little bit more. The guy didn't even know he sold these. He's like, what are those? What are those? Sorry, old memes. It's like a little churro. I'm brave enough to give it a second bite. Moving on, here's some Chorritos. <laughs> so it's kind of like a fortune cookie, these. Powdered sugar. Really weird. Kind of like it, kind of don't. I keep feeling like I'm going to cut open my mouth when I'm chewing on it. It wasn't great. Brought to you by the same company that makes Takis. Chorritos. With red chili pepper and some lime. The little tiny sticks. Aww. That terrifies me that kind they made them cute. so small. Mm. Mm. You're stealing these from me, aren't you? They're pretty good. You have a lot of a lot of subtle spice to them. I put a few in my mouth at once and it just had a lot of flavor and power. Now we're gonna go out on uh, help us drink to forget with some moonshine sweet tea. No actual liquor in this. No actual liquor. Also, burn, buying one helps the Make Wish Foundation. Shake, I'm sure, because. Last time we had some tea, we didn't shake it. Thank ya. Make you feel like a real southern lady. Cheers. So somebody answer me. How do you make unsweetened sweet tea? Yeah, it's a sweet and unsweet, genuine, nineteen forty six brand. It tastes like uh, stick water. Like I literally went outside and got some sticks and put them in water over like a month, and then once it was nice and brown from bacteria, I decided to take a drink. That's probably what this would taste like. Yeah, probably a little bit better than that, to be honest. Well, I guess that's it. Mm. Thank you for joining us. You forgot about Kiro's gift. Kiro's gift. Kiro's Kiro gift. left us a gift. Kiro left us a gift? That's right. Kiro yeah. helped us out today, and he also gave us this uh, rainbow ice flavored sugar free gum yeah. full of aspartame. Man. This is the weirdest bag. I got it. Oh. Just one each. Mm. It tastes like I'm drinking the uh, bottom of a slush puppy cone. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Well, pleasantly delicious. Thank you, Kira, and thank you, everyone watching. You have a wonderful evening, and uh, remember, do the do. <laughs> and we'll see you maybe later this week with a special video.